ever had baby bunnies, you know that they love to poop and pee in their food, and these rabbits are no exception. Every day I clean out their food bowl and fill it with nice fresh pellets, and then as soon as I put it in, they sit in it and they poop in it and pee in it, and by the next feeding time, it looks like this. I'm going to try a different type of feeder. Instead of feeding them in a bowl, I'm going to feed them in one of those feeders where, you know, you pour, oops, you pour the food in and then there's a little trough and stuff. I think that will work better because they can't sit in it, but they're still big enough to reach it. Sometimes the little, little babies can't really reach that, so that's why I have a bowl for them. But these guys are plenty old enough to reach one of those types of feeders. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I might also put um, one of those feeders in Basil's cage because he likes to dig and then he like puts bedding all over his food and wastes it. And I might put some, um, <coughs> I might give the Angoras those types of feeders as well. And yes, the barn doors, both of them are still closed because it's still cold outside. So the lighting is still very bad. Okay, so I have four feeders. These two big ones are going to be for Rosie and all of her babies. And then I have one for Basil, um, one for Lucky. Oh, and I need to get one for Charity. Okay, this one will be for Lucky because it's smaller, and this one will be for Charity because it's bigger and she needs more food because she's pregnant. Okay, so I'm going to wash all of these and get them clean, and then I'll install them into the cages and colonies. So I put the feeder in here. I basically took the wires that you would usually bend the other way, and I bent them through the chicken wire on both sides, so now it hangs from the inside instead of hanging through the outside because I don't want to cut any holes in this wire and then move it and then have to put them up again. I'm only going to do one for right now because I need to finish up chores really fast and so now I'm just going to fill it with food and install the rest later. I wanted to show you guys real quick something very interesting. So I was checking on the baby bunnies and a lot of them were back here where they're supposed to be but about four of them were right here and they were being blocked by the blockade thing. So if I hadn't had this here, they would have had crawled out and gotten very cold and probably died. Or at least been frozen and I'd have to warm them up. Warm them up. So that is how important this thing is to protect all the baby bunnies from getting out. So it is a little bit later in the day um, I have a, another feeder, all nice and clean, ready to install right next to the first one to feed Rosie and her many, many babies. So what I'm going to do is on the side there are hooks, so I'm going to move them so that instead of extending this way, they're going to go this way. I'm going to do that on both sides. It might take some maneuvering, and then I I have chosen to put them right here. We have the two hooks and the back of it, so it's sort of hard to do with the camera, but there is this chicken wire, so I basically bend so this hook comes down here, wraps around this bit of wire, comes out as well as on this side, right here. See how it wraps around? And then on this side, these wires were a little bit older, so it comes from here, hooks around here, and then it came out that side. I did that over there as well. So these were just some leftover feeders I had whenever I had a lot more rabbits in cages. This one has a lid that I'm not going to be using because this wood's in the way and this one doesn't. They're just sort of extras that I'm going to be reusing. The reason I don't do feeders whenever the baby bunnies are really little is because it's hard for them to reach all the way up to the feeders when they're still nursing. But these bunnies are big enough that they can, they can reach. And I'm going to try to invent a little step stool thing for the newborn babies that are going to be old enough in a few weeks to start eating solid food as well. Now I'm going to put one in Basil's colony and in 
Luckies and Charities cages just because they, um, that will free up more bowls to use for other more important things than to hold food. Now every rabbit, both meat rabbit and angora, have a metal feeder. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something. Please don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more videos about rabbits and other really fun stuff. Thank you again for watching. Bye!